Hello, this is Khuram Nasir and you are watching Optometry with Khuram and today's topic is about the nodal points. Before learning about the nodal points, let us discuss about the optical center of a lens. For example, if this is a lens system, the optical center is actually the central point of a lens. The most accurate point of the lens is called the optical point, optical center actually, right? So, optical center is also called the sweet point the sweet point of the lens, right? This is center point. You know very well that, so a little bit concept of the optical center is when a light will pass through a convex lens, you know very well that the convex lens is also called the converging lens. So the light ray will bend like this, right? The converge at this point, at the central point. And if the lens, if the light ray will pass through this point, in the convex lens, it will go like this, right? And if the light will pass in the center of the lens from the optical center actually, the light ray will go straight ahead, right? It, it does not show any refraction when it will pass through the optical center from this point, optical central point, right? So this is called the central point of the lens, the optical center of the lens or the sweet point of the lens, right? But this theory, the question is that why the light is passing straight ahead when it passing through the optical center. Remember that the concept behind that is the uh, any lens, any spherical lens, either it is plus spherical lens or it is minus spherical lens, it is made from, it is actually the combination of the two prisms. You know very well that what is a prism? This is a prism having a base and the apex. This is called prism. And if we talk about, uh, you know, uh, the spherical lens or the plus spherical lens, uh, it is actually the combination of the two prisms, right? So this is prism number one. And this is prism number two. So it is combined in such a way that they look like a convex lens. So actually the plus spherical lens is the combination of two prisms uh, uh, attaching with each other uh, in such a way that the two bases of the prisms are attached like this. This is prism number one and this is prism number two and the base of each prisms are attached with each other. So this is a spherical lens, right? So remember that this is a basic concept uh, of the optical center that why the light ray will pass through the optical center and whenever a light ray uh, will pass through an optical center, it will go straight ahead. It will not show any refraction. It will not show any bending, right? Why? Remember that whenever a light, whenever uh, two prisms will attach in such a way that one prism is showing base down. You see, in prism number one, the base is down, right? And in prism number two, the base is up. So there is base up and base down effect in this plus spherical lens. So whenever there is a phenomena in which one prism is showing base down and one prism, prism is showing base up, right? Then if light will pass from these point, from this point where the two bases are attached, right? One is uh, showing base down and one is showing, one prism is showing base up. So whenever light will pass through in the center of the lens, where two prisms, where two bases of the prism are attached, the light ray will pass straight ahead like this. So this point where the two bases are attached with each other, this point is called the optical center. But this theory is in the thin lenses, right? So what is actually the nodal point is, nodal point is for example, if this is the eyeball, Right? This is cornea, the anterior most transparent power structure of the eyeball and cornea having 43 diopters plus 43 diopters of the power, right? So much plus power, right? And behind the cornea, you know, there is a lens which is called the crystalline lens having 17 or 15 to 17 uh, plus power of the eyeball, right? So approximately there is total power of the eyeball which is 60 diopters, right? So whenever light rays will pass through this lens, right? From this point to this point, there is no any refraction, right? But when it will cross the cornea, these light rays will show, you see, the converging because the cornea is a plus, plus lens and plus lens has a characteristic which is converging. So it will converge the light rays, right? Like this. So after that, the lens is there. Lens is also a plus convex lens. So it will show more converging, right? the light rays will converge 
and after passing through the lens, the light rays will cross to each other, right? And the point where the light rays are crossing to each other like this, you see, the light rays is crossing each other after passing through the lens, right? So, this point where the light rays are crossing to each other, this point is called the nodal point, right? So, when the light rays will cross to each other, so this is the reason that the image on the retina will also a uh, inverted image. For example, this is the object standing like this, the upright image, the straight image, but when the light rays will from the head of the object and from the bottom of the object, the light rays will come inside the eyeball, right? and it will cross through the cornea, it will cross through the lens and when it will, whenever it will cross the lens, right, they will cross to each other, right. The top of the light ray will go down and the bottom light ray will go up, right. So, that is why it will go uh, inverted image, the upside down image like this, the inverted image. So, this point where the light rays are crossing each other, this is called the nodal point. So, this is the one concept of the nodal point. So, let us learn another concept of the nodal point. For example, this is uh, a convex lens you can see, right? And now I am giving you the concept uh, of nodal point in the thick lenses, right? So, this is a thick lens. For example, this is a thin lens, so that is why the center point is called the optical center. But remember that in thick lenses, uh, this optical center will convert into two points, right? Two nodal, uh, two points and these two points are called the nodal points. In thin lenses, there is one lens, sorry, there is one point in the center of the lens, right, which is called the optical center. And whenever the light will pass through the center of the lens, which is the optical center, it will go straight ahead. But when the lens is thick, there, there, there is uh, no any optical center, there is no any one optical center, but it will convert into two different points and those points are called the nodal points. And what is the logic behind that? For example, this is a thick lens, thick, thick convex lens and light is going in such a way, right, you see. So, from this point to this point, there is no any refraction and when it will hit the surface of the lens, this light ray will observe the refraction, right. It will bend like this, right. It should go like this, I am showing in dotted line, it should go like this, but it will show refraction because this is a lens system, because this is a plus lens, so it will show converging, right. So, it will show bending and it straight ahead it will pass through the center of the thick lens, right. And after that it will go like this and it will emerge from the lens in such a way and it, it will show the bending, right. But if, but if, but if we, um, um, we mark a straight line over here, you see this line is emerging from this point of the lens and if we, if we mark a straight line over here in this point right, it will strike this point, this green circle, this one. If we make a straight line over here, it will strike a point inside the lens here and this is called the nodal point. And in this way, in this side, in this side, if we mark a straight line over here, the lens is bending in this way, the light is going in this way, but if, for example, if we mark a straight line over here, so this point is called the nodal point. So, this is called the nodal point number 1 and this is called nodal, nodal point number 2 in a thick lenses, right. So, if we, we make a straight line over here, so these points are called uh, the nodal points, right, in thick lenses. Another example, for example, if a light is coming from down, right, it will strike the lens, the lens is very thick, you can see. So, it should go like this in a straight way, but lens is thick, so it will show refraction, it will show bending. So, it, the light ray will go like this, it will show bending. So, it will also cross from the center of the lens, you see, the center of the lens and from this point, the light will emerge and after emerging, it will show refraction, the bending again, right. So, if we mark a straight line over here, from this point, the lens is striking, the light ray is striking on the lens, from this point, if you mark a straight line, so this point is called the nodal point, right. And in this way, if I am looking this light ray from here and if I mark a straight line over here, so, this point is called the nodal point. So, these two points are called the nodal points. So, remember that um, if the refractive index from here of the lens and this point, for example, if the, if the lens is suspended in the air, so, right? So, here 
the medium is air and here the medium is air. So in either side of the lens, the medium is the same, the air, right? So if the refractive index of the medium in this way and in this way, in this side and in this side is the same, then remember that the nodal points are equal to the uh, principal points, right? You can see that this straight line, this black straight line over here and the black straight line over here, this line, this line is called the principal axis, right? And obviously, if there is a principal axis, there must be principal points, right? So what are the principal points? Principal points are the points on the principal axis. These points, these black dots are called the principal axis, right? So in few minutes ago, I said these are nodal points. So remember that if the refractive index over here in this side of the lens, refractive index in this side of the lens is the same. For example, this is air, this is air. So if the refractive index on the both sides of the uh, lenses is the same and the power this way, the power of the lens is the same, then the principal points will coincident with the nodal points. What does it mean? It means that the nodal points and the principal point will be the same, will be at the same place, will be at the same location, right? So again, these are called the nodal points and the power of the lens over here on this side, power of the lens of, on this side is the same, refractive index on the both sides of the lens are the same. So it means that the nodal points and the principal points will be the same. So if the power of this side of the lens, power of this side of the lens is the same, then the both the light rays, right, the emergent light rays and this light rays, which is actually the incident light ray, the incident and the emergent right, light ray will the parallel. Like in optical center, the light will go straight ahead, right. In this case, the optical center is split into two, right, in thick lenses. So the incident ray and the refracted ray will be the parallel. You see, this is the parallel. They are not coincident, but they are not in the same plane, but they are parallel, right. So what is actually the uh, importance of the nodal points? Remember that if, if you want to record the visual acuity of a patient, uh, right, uh, we need some charts like Snellen chart and Logmar chart. And you know very well that uh, the letters, the optotype, sorry, the letters, the alphabets on the charts are called the optotypes. For example, this is, this E is the first letter on the Snellen chart. So if, if a patient will look at this optotype on the Snellen chart, light rays from this point, from this E, will enter into the patient's eyeball, right? And those light rays will make an angle on the nodal point, right? You know, you already know about the nodal point. So these light rays which are actually coming from uh, the optotype, they will enter into the patient's eye and they will make an angle on the nodal point of the patient, right? And those angles which are actually substanding on the nodal point, they will make uh, an angle and the unit of those angles is called the minute of arc. And if you want to know about the concept of the minute of arc, watch this video. The link is in the description.